in a land far, far away, where magic flows like a river and the forest whispers secrets, there lived a kind and beautiful princess named Snow White. Her stepmother, the Wicked Queen, was jealous of her beauty and kindness. One day, the Queen's enchanted mirror revealed that Snow White was the fairest in the land. Enraged, the Queen decided to rid herself of Snow White once and for all. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You, my Queen, are fair, it's true. But Snow White is even fairer than you. This cannot be. I must get rid of her. The Queen ordered her huntsmen to take Snow White into the forest and ensure she never returned. But the huntsmen, with a kind heart, couldn't harm the innocent girl. Run, Snow White. Run far away and never return to the castle. The Queen must not find you. Thank you, kind huntsman. I will never forget your mercy. Snow White ran through the forest until she stumbled upon a tiny, charming cottage. Exhausted, she knocked on the door but received no answer. She pushed the door open and stepped inside. What a lovely little home. I wonder who lives here. The cottage belonged to seven dwarfs who spent their days mining gems in the nearby hills. Snow White, tired and hungry, decided to clean up and rest. As evening fell, the seven dwarfs returned to their cottage and were surprised to find it spotless and a delicious meal waiting for them. Who's been in our house? Look, someone has cleaned everything. Let's find out who it is. They searched the cottage and found Snow White asleep on three of their beds. Snow White woke up to see seven curious faces staring at her. Hello, my name is Snow White. I'm so sorry for intruding. I had nowhere else to go. It's all right, dear. You can stay with us. As long as she doesn't make too much trouble. Thank you. I promise to help and not be a burden. Meanwhile, the Queen discovered that Snow White was still alive. Furious, she decided to take matters into her own hands. This poisoned apple will put an end to her once and for all. One bite, and she will fall into a deep, eternal sleep. Disguised as an old peddler woman, the queen went to the dwarf's cottage with the poisoned apple. Hello, dear. Would you like to try a delicious apple? Thank you, kind lady. It looks wonderful. Snow White took a bite of the apple and immediately fell to the ground, unconscious. The dwarfs returned home to find Snow White lying still and pale. Heartbroken, they laid her in a glass coffin in the forest. She was too kind and beautiful for this world. We will miss you, Snow White. News of Snow White's beauty spread far and wide. A prince, who had heard the tale, came to see her and was enchanted by her. She is as beautiful as the tales say. I must try to wake her. The prince leaned down and kissed Snow White gently. Miraculously, she awoke. What happened? Who are you? I am a prince who heard of your beauty and kindness. I am honored to meet you. The dwarfs rejoiced, and Snow White and the prince fell in love. They returned to the castle and lived happily ever after. And so, Snow White, with the help of her seven dear friends, overcame the wicked queen's evil and found her happily ever after. And the magic of the forest, they say, still whispers her story to those who listen closely. The moral of the story is that true love and kindness triumph over adversity. Genuine kindness and strong bonds of friendship lead to lasting happiness.